And we're back with another episode of Let's Play King's Quest 7, The Princess Bride. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. And uh, we are heading into Chapter 5, Nightmare in Etheria. Let's get it on. Have you found the jury? What is your verdict? On the charge of moon theft, we find her... Guilty! On the charge of impersonating a folder alien, we find her... Guilty! Wow, not even getting a break here. On the charges of party crashing, sneaking, spying, and appearing in public without fur, feather, or scales, we find her... Guilty! 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 <laughs> oh, man. of Devantry, this is your sentence. You must spend the rest of your life in the jelly bean mines of the faraway kingdom of Wagga Wagga Boing Boing. What? I never heard of such a place. You just made that up, didn't you? So I did. So I did. Does anyone have an idea for her sentence? Banish her to the plains of petulant possums. Maroon her on the island of ill-natured iguanas. Make her count every grain of bird seed in the land. Make her put the moon back into the sky. As you say, those other ones were kind of weak. The people have spoken. You have until sunset to put the moon back in its rightful place in the sky, Valanith. If you do not, you will be fed to a 300-pound hamster in the morning. Yeah. Fort adjourned. The sky is falling. Whoop! The sky is falling. In that case, let us move the party to the sub sub basement. Guards, remove that hellish creature. <laughs> oh, we just can't seem to get a break, can we? Okay. So clearly things have gone awry since the the uh, moon, the quote-unquote moon, has fallen from the sky. So let's see what we could do here. I think I could have done this earlier and I chose not to for some reason. Would you be interested in this lovely mask? I would! It's just magnificent! For that, I'll give you the best thing in my store! Here, take this rubber chicken. Alright. Ah, thank you, I suppose. Okay, let's skedaddle. Yeah, I could have done that last last time we were playing as Valanese and just zoned out and I didn't do it. And as you can see, we can do it then. Alright. So not a big deal. Again, it's... This game's a little harder to softlock yourself than the prior King's Quest games. Alright, we'll tie that chicken there. Let's uh, get that moon back into the sky. That son of a bitch! Ah, uh, congratulations, oh hairless one. Thank you have returned the moon to the sky. <laughs> you are granted a full pardon. Oh, thank you, Archduke Yip Yap. Never let it be said that Archduke Fifila Yip Yip, fearless warhound of Folderol, cannot be merciful. Now, if you'll excuse me, the volcano is smoking, so I'm off to hide in the basement. That's clearly not good. Makes me think of, like, Entry of the Gladiators, but it's like a variation of it. The music. Alright. 
Now let's go ahead and get an update on Rosella here. <laughs> Statuette, <laughs> tell me where my daughter is now. Rosella is far below the ground <laughs> in the land of the volcano. She lives, but I cannot see her. Her world has become darkness. Hmm. My poor Rosella. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. <coughs> and let's go ahead and deal with this jackass here. Here you are, the magic statuette. And here is your weir beast, Sev, my lady Valenice. Thank you. How does it work? You must apply it to your body. First, it must be mixed with a bit of animal hair. Animal hair? What kind? <clears throat> Why, whatever animal you wish to transform into. However, I would not recommend a fat mouse or a juicy squirrel. <laughs> Excuse me, my lady. <clears throat> I must go and consult my statuette. In other words, he's going to furiously masturbate that thing, which to which we don't want to witness that. Let's go ahead and now head out of Falderall here. <laughs> There's not much really left for us to do with regards to this town for the moment. Now, before we just get gung-ho and start heading into the Weirwood, there's a few things we should consider. Because that might be your first gut instinct. After I just said, it's really hard to softlock yourself in this game. Um, there is some element of that that is not entirely true. <clears throat> so, a hop. A skip. And a jump. I used to like this 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 music. Don't know why. Just relaxing. Have this play in the background while I was doing homework. I'm a weird kid. I was a weird kid, what can I say? That musician in me. <laughs> I am Valenice of Daventry, Noble Stan, and I appreciate your concern, but I am on a mission from which I cannot be dissuaded. I must enter your woods. You are brave, but know this. The oak tree you see before you was once my wife Ceres, she who is Mother Nature. I could not prevent her from being turned into a tree, for I had already been turned into a stag. I, Attis, Lord of the Hunt, could not save her. <coughs> Guy sucks at his done job. such a terrible thing, my Lord Attis? The attack was so sudden and so ferocious that I saw nothing. Only a noble from the High Court of Etheria could have so much power. But that is unthinkable. Hmm. I am sorry for your loss, Attis, but I must search on. Farewell, my friend. Valenice, wait. Be warned. To the far west is the wood of the Weir Folk. Do not enter those woods, for the Weir Folk are never friendly and always hungry. Thank you, Lord Attis. May the fate smile upon both of us. And everything. Is there nothing that can break the enchantment on you and your wife, Attis? Perhaps there is, but I know not what. 
Feldspar, the ancient rock spirit, might tell you. If only there was a way to awaken him. You see, I am becoming more like a natural stag with every passing hour. <coughs> Thought becomes more difficult, and the shadows of the forest sing to my blood. If I find any way to help you, I will, my Lord Attis. Oh, no. Ah, water. Nectar of the gods. Nope. <laughs> All right. Let's keep moving. Come on. Come on, Valenties, move it. It's weird how in some scenes she moves slower and clunkier, where in other scenes she moves faster. So now we're going to explore kind of more of the woods that are here. Make sure we got all of our updates from our stag friend. As we will make again a hop, a skip, stay with me guys, and a jump to the other side here. Now we need to go this way. As Valenice tiptoes through the... Okay. Let's have her keep going that way. Okay, so we got a sleeping stone here. Let's give him a little wakey wakey. Apologies, noble spirit, but the bountiful woods are in terrible trouble. Lord Attis has been changed into a stag and Lady Ceres into a tree. That could not have happened if the river of life still flowed and the cornucopia was filled. They are the heart and lifeblood of the woods, and it will perish without them. You must start the river flowing by pouring sacred drink into the river maiden's pitcher. Replenish the cornucopia by placing sacred food in the cornucopia maiden's horn of plenty. Act quickly. I cannot stay awake. So we got some tidbit of information to get us started here. That's that's the secret to saving the woods. The easier said than done, of course. As we walk so slowly, and we'll get there eventually. Whoa. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, there's not really a... I don't believe there's a speed-up option uh, in the options. Yeah, it's just not there. So... Uh, it, it can be frustrating when you're trying to get get there, you know? But they're making you enjoy the scenery and all that, I guess, to some extent.
head over this way. Don't worry, little feller. We'll get you back to your awesomeness that you used to be. All right, so first thing we gotta do is, hold on here, take a look. These statues are so beautiful, incredible. Pretty sure. I forget the order in which we gotta do things here, but we can we can do it. Hello, kindest of humans. Do you desire some sacred nectar? I do indeed. Can you get me some? Certainly. Do you have a vessel to hold the nectar? Yeah. There you go. Nice. Let's do that. Give her the old refill. Come, Lord Attis. Perhaps a drink from the River of Life will give you strength. <laughs> the enchantment has been broken! Indeed. Now perhaps I can save my lovely Ceres. Let us hurry, Valenice. Kind of looks like the same model as the dude who got lost in the desert <laughs> ever so slightly. All right, so let's go see how this plays out. It would seem that the curse is stronger than I am, but I will not let her die. I will not. I wish I could have helped you more, Lord Attis, but now I feel I must go to my daughter. I think she's in a dark land beyond these woods and that she is in grave danger. Valenice, if she is in Ooga Booga, you must pass through the swamp, and I have learned of a terrible monster who dwells there. I will help you evade him, but first I must try to save my lady love. Holy shit, it's like real magic. Alright, so we are not going to be dealing with that at the moment. Let's keep moving. And we'll want to make a save here. Let's try to give this a try and see if that merchant wasn't bullshitting us. So the trick to this is, and let me make sure, okay, yeah, we got it, all right. 
There is a process to all things. Yeah, and that's the south. Okay. Uh. And she slowly moved. There she goes. Now she's picking up the speed here. Sounded oh, juicy. I feel so strange. <laughs> oh, dear God. You can't unsee things in life, you know? You just can't. Don't think I've ever run so fast in my in my life. Noble Attis. He was true to his word. That's why we needed to help Attis Attis when we could. At a boy, let's keep moving. Do 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 That wasn't very nice. <laughs> All right. So now we are in Oogabooga, and uh, we are going to have to pick up and take care of a few things that we couldn't do when we were here with Rosella. Or rather, we're going to have a separate set of tasks to do. It's just neat how, to see, how you see this world kind of connected together. resemblance to a young lady I met earlier this evening. That must have been my daughter, Rosella. My dear lady, do come in. They keep crossing paths, yet they can't just seem to find so each other. So you are the mother of the charming Miss Rosella. Pleased to meet you, lady. Valenice of Daventry, sir. What a lovely name! I am Dr. Mort Cadaver. What can I do for you, Lady Valenice? I uh, really just want to have words with you. When was the last time you saw my daughter? Where was she going? I saw her but a few short hours ago. She asked me about the Troll King and very kindly brought me a new backbone. I do not know where she was headed. Dr. Cadaver, how was Rosella when you spoke with her? Did she seem well? Oh, abundantly so. She was the liveliest creature I've seen in years. Dr. Cadaver, I hope this isn't rude of me, but is everyone in Ooga Booga, well, dead? <laughs> As a doornail, for the most part. Forgive me, Lady Valenice, but I have to make a house call. Good evening, Valenice. 
I will let you know if I hear word of Rosella. Thank you, Doctor. Good night. Right. And so that'll give us some mild insight, right? And some story. So a few things we need to do is there was a character we saw earlier when we were here with Rosella that could definitely use our help. But if we try to help as Rosella, it just ends badly because we don't have the means to do anything. Whereas with Valentinese, it's a little different. Again, though, like I said, I think there's a couple of different ways you can solve some of these, some of these puzzles. So it really just depends. Let's grab this. And then let's get back on the uh, bucket lift, head back down. this bone right away. Go ahead and hit two screens this way. This Valenice's walk cycle is so slow. I don't know, maybe, maybe they're both the same, but it feels like hers is so much slower. <laughs> All right, let's go up this way. Aww. Boogie. Uh-oh. Another dog. A lot of dogs in this one. Here you go, buddy. Good dog. Nice dog. Come on, you know you want that tasty bone, little fella. And he likes it. There now, you're not such a bad dog after all. And you are not such a bad human. <laughs> you are the first creature to be kind to me since I lost my master and mistress. Thank you. You poor fellow. What happened to your people? My master was beheaded by Malicia's foul gargoyle and cursed to ride the skies in search of his head. My mistress died of grief shortly thereafter. And I? I tried to defend my home when the boogeyman came to burn it. I failed. Your master was Count Zepish? He was. I was proud to fight at his side. I would like to help your master. If I recovered his head, do you think the curse would be lifted? We can only hope. Here, take my master's medal. It may help you in the search. And thank you, brave lady. All right. Oh, oh, he's a good boy. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head back out. <laughs> and we're going to use this here. 
here you are. <laughs> and that just happened. Count Vladimir Tsipish, fearless warrior, devoted husband, and Lord Protector of Uga Booga Land. Hmm. Count Vladimir Tsipish, fearless warrior, devoted husband, and Lord Protector of Uga Booga Land. Heck, there he goes. <laughs> there goes somebody, anyway. Okay. So what we gotta do now is get access to a Soitan thing. Grab that thing. Well, that's interesting to know. And Jane. Hmm. It would seem that keeping a lit firecracker in one's pocket. Shut up. All right. And this is just gonna happen. Hmm. I don't know if you've noticed, but we're... Hmm. Strangely hmm. enough, able to move here. I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. It's a weird little mechanic thing, but... Hmm. We can just keep moving, and it eventually will get to where we need to go. Hmm. As annoying as this is. Right there, come on. Hmm. Don't worry, guys, there's a way to do this. Because remember, in the land of Ooga Booga, everybody's hmm. dead, so I don't quite. You know, it's just one of those things that you just don't think about. Hmm. Now, I do believe there's another way to do this, but this is just a little faster. Hmm. It was when you get down to the nitty gritty of it. Just the most random thing. So close. Hmm. Don't worry, for any of you wondering, we just gotta get to the next screen here. Hmm. It would seem that keeping Shut up. Hmm. I remember when my father tried playing this, because he used to play the King's Quest games too. Hmm. He actually thought he was soft locked. And I was the first one to point out, hey, but you moved though. It, it didn't res it didn't reset you back. And he's like, huh, really? But hmm. he didn't know what to do with the firecracker, so it was a rather moot point. Ah crap. Hmm. Funny how he, you know he came out, but it didn't matter all that much. Hmm. Uh. So we got to work our way over to the tomb hmm. here. Hmm. Just bear with me, guys. I know it just seems so peculiar that I'm doing it this way. And luckily for us, that little cinematic, it made it so that we could just move here. And noise. May we actually now make a save so we don't have to go through that crap again, right? Uh, okay. Open says me. Oh my, poor 
Count Zeppisch. All right, let's skedaddle. Again, we'll make a save. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta move back a scene, come back this way. I kind of want to stand here. Or not. Now I know how it feels to be a rabbit in the carriage lights. I should have done something decisive. Yeah, just a little bit more decisive. There we go. Or, or not. Okay, hold on. There we go. Now, don't lose your head in the future. You have lifted the curse that was placed on me, my lady. I am deeply indebted to you. Black Valiant. Elspeth, my Elspeth. How I have missed you, my love. And are you my... Dearest darling. Oh God. You have done me an immeasurable <laughs> kindness. Tell me what I can do for you in return. I must find a way to Etheria, Count Seppish. It is imperative. I have heard that you may be able to help me. Consider it done. I will give you the use of my horse. Here, take this fife. With it, you can call him to take you to Etheria. Once there, you cannot summon him, for he will not be able to hear you. But he will always come to you anywhere on the surface lands. Thank you, Count. It is nothing. Fly, Necromancer. Carry the lady to Etheria. <laughs> and thus, away we go. Well, here we are. Let's go ahead and uh, this is probably a good place for us to stop for right now. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv Studios for more live gaming action. Because when we come back, we play around with a few things up here in the magical world of Etheria. Anywho, thanks for stopping by, guys. We'll see you guys next time.